This is the RPA series of hybrid amplifiers and receivers that can be used for home theater setups, for karaoke, and even in professional settings. There are two amplifiers in this series, the RPA 70WBT and the RPA 60BT. And the only difference between the two models is that the RPA 70WBT comes with two included VHF wireless handheld microphones. These amplifiers are super powerful and are rated at 125 watts per channel at 4 ohms, which means they can handle a variety variety of different passive speakers to best fit your setup. It can power multiple passive bookshelf speakers for your home theater room, karaoke speakers, ceiling speakers in your home or business setting, and they are even powerful enough to power passive PA speakers. So say you're hosting a barbecue, house party, or a block party, and you need a receiver to double as your karaoke mixer, music source, and amplifier to power your PA speakers, these will work perfectly for that. Each channel output on the amp is also 4 ohm stable, which means you can use multiple passive speakers speakers on each channel as long as you match it correctly. We made this graphic so you can see all the combinations you can do per channel. Now in the front of the amps they have buttons to select between the different inputs. The USB BT and FM button corresponds to the USB port on the front which you can use to play music out of a USB thumb drive, the built-in radio, and of course the Bluetooth channel which allows you to connect your device through Bluetooth. The optical coaxial button corresponds to both the coaxial and optical port on the back of the device which is another great way to connect these receivers to your TV for a home theater setup. And the DVD iPod button corresponds to the RCA input on the back of the device that you can use to connect your DVD player, Blu-ray player, or gaming console and the 3.5 millimeter aux port on the front of the receivers that you can use to connect a device through an aux cable. There are also buttons to control music playback like play, pause, and skip or go back, turn the LED lights on or off, and go into the settings of the receivers to control the two band EQ and the balance between the speakers so you can adjust the overall sound of the receiver. There are also different preset EQs that you can set your receiver to for different types of mixes for the best sound possible, including one for rock, jazz, pop, and classical music, and you can access all of this through the wireless remote. With the remote, you can also control other features of the amp like music playback, volume control, input selecting, and more. You can also place these receivers into any rack bag or rack mount by using the included rack ears and screws, which is very useful for professional setups. These receivers also have two quarter inch microphone inputs on the front that you can use to plug in two wired microphones. And it also has a three knob microphone mixer where you can control the volume for both mics with the mic volume knob, adjust the sound of the mics with the mic like tone knob, and even give your voice an echo effect with the echo knob for some extra flair. The RPA 70WBT even comes with two wireless VHF microphones that are already paired and come with a digital display and an on and off switch that you can use on top of the microphones that you can plug into the receiver. A very popular setup to do with these RPA receivers because they have multiple microphone inputs is to either connect your smartphone or tablet through Bluetooth or your smart TV through RCA input or optical cable and then go to the YouTube app and look up the karaoke version of a song on YouTube. With the lyrics on the screen of your device, the music coming through your RPA receiver powering your speakers, and the microphones plugged in, you have a full karaoke system right in your house. Now just to go over the back of the receivers again, we have the optical and coaxial inputs for your TV, DVD players, gaming systems, etc. The RCA input that you can use to connect your DVD player, Blu-ray player, CD, or music players, a record output to send the signal from the amp out to a recording device, a pre-out to expand your setup with an additional powered amp, powered speaker, or powered subwoofer, and a dedicated sub output that you can use to connect a powered subwoofer with. You can use the sub out knob on the front of the amp to control the volume coming out of the sub so you can get the right mix of the low end in your setup. And next to that you'll see the speaker wire terminals that accept bare wire and banana cables so you can connect your speakers to the receiver for whatever kind of setup you have. Now you're probably wondering what one of these receivers sounds like, so let's go check out a demo we have set up. What's up guys? So as you can see, I have my RPA70 WBT V2 all set up and ready to go. I also have it connected to my TV through the optical output. So naturally, I have to set my amp into optical mode so that everything coming out of the TV gets played through the amp and out of the speakers. This amp also comes with the two wireless microphones, which is great for karaoke setups because I can go into the YouTube app on my TV, look up any karaoke version of a song, and use the microphones to sing as the music's playing through the speakers. So I'm gonna get my karaoke song going here. Start using the microphones to start singing along. 
Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. And I can also use the echo knob here for some extra flair. Make me feel like I'm in a rock concert. Woo! Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on, go play. So cool, man. So much fun. Get paid, all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. Yeah! These are the perfect amplifiers and receivers to use if you want great sound for your home theater setup, your karaoke setup, or even professional settings. So if you're looking for a powerful, versatile, and professional hybrid amplifier and receiver for your setup, look no further than the RPA series from Rockville.